brain uses about 30% of your total body energy. It's the most energy demanding organ compared to any other in the body. Your brain is going to use more of the food calories that you take in than anything else you do. So when your metabolism gets out of whack, your brain gets out of whack. The earliest signs of cognitive decline are associated with something called insulin resistance. And insulin resistance is a disorder of the metabolism. So how does that happen? Too many carbs relative to the exercise, relative to the consumption of those carbohydrates. So one way that you can take care of your brain is to make sure that you're taking care of your metabolism. And cold exposure, like I'm doing, is a really good way to improve your insulin sensitivity, clear glucose from your bloodstream, maintain a healthy metabolism. But I just read a study about brown fat. Exercise won't get you brown fat. And keto won't get you brown fat. Low carb doesn't get you brown fat. All of those things are good for maintaining your insulin sensitivity and taking care of your metabolism. They're good for your brain. But they don't get you brown fat. And the study out of Quebec that I read said brown fat is not just about metabolism, it's also a secretory organ. That is, when you use cold exposure to activate, recruit new brown fat, you aren't just burning up those triglycerides, burning up the glucose from your bloodstream. You're also creating hormones. One of the most important hormones created by your brown fat, for example, thyroid hormones terrific but there's another one it's called FFG 21 and it is a neuroprotective hormone so in animal models FFG 21 has reversed cognitive decline protected against brain disorders and protected against neurotoxicity this has got me thinking my ice bath it's not just good for my metabolism and that helps my brain work better, but it's protective of my brain in the way that my brown fat, when activated, will produce hormones that are good for the tissues between my ears. I wanted to share that with you.